just on our first multi-day sea crossing, 250 nautical miles from Greece to Sicily. We get some feisty conditions as we reach Italy's Messina Strait. We've timed our departure from Zagenthos based on PredictWinds routing software, where I've been keeping track of the forecast over the last three days, and all pointed to that if we'd left earlier than today, we would have gone straight into a squall off the Tower of Italy just as we were heading in. And then if we'd left it 24 hours later than today, again, there's another squall coming through. The sun's just about to dip beneath the horizon. We're making good ground, about 7.5 knots. So we're on track to make Catania in two days time, very early in the morning. I didn't get the second briefing. Good morning. Well, that was a night of nice smooth sailing. Phil and I split up the night in the same way that we did for the Albania crossing. So 9 to midnight, midnight to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 7. And Phil is currently catching up on a bit of sleep over here. Wind speed is 8 and it's nice and consistent both wind speed and direction out here now that we're away from the land effects. This is the view that greeted me this morning. It's ocean as far as the eye can see. Till now, our overnight sailing has been along coastline, so this is the first time I've just been out with, with nothing but, but water around. I feel fine about this. Um, rather than just the, um, the distance that you see on the chart, it's actually the depth that gives you that feel of, of the huge scale, the huge volume of water under and around us. And um, it just makes you realize what a tiny speck we are out here on the ocean. This is the only other tiny speck we've seen all day. <laughs> you look like a kid on a fairground ride. Sorry? You look like a kid on a fairground ride. I'm just gonna see where the tanker is. Whoa! We're in Italy now! Seven nautical miles! In Italy now. Yay! I'm gonna do a bowling without opening my eyes. It's mid afternoon and we are close to the toe of Italy. The wind's picked up just nicely. So, 40 knots, we are doing 8.3 knots boat speed. Let's look at how we're equipping ourselves to get through the night. First thing, of course, life jackets. We've got a few things at hand, including binoculars, a, a very powerful torch, and maybe one of the most important things is the tether, which we will attach to a strong point on Tranquilo and then attach it to ourselves so that there's very little chance of us going over when we're going, say, between here where we can sit comfortably and through to the helm to check on things like you know, any ships coming at us or what the wind's doing, etc. And finally, last but not least, the personal locator beacon. So whoever's up here for the night gets to wear that. So worst case scenario, we have to bail. We've at least got something to alert the Coast Guard that we're in trouble. But that ain't gonna happen. 
two more things. I'm a bit prone to seasickness, so I've got on these pressure bands. I don't care if it's placebo or what it is, but they do work. They stop me feeling seasick. And the other thing is that Phil and I share Phil's watch, which has a 15 minute alarm on it. Just to make sure that we actually stay awake through our shifts. We've made it to Sicily, 250 nautical miles from Zakynthos to here. We're just heading into Riposto. Had a bit of a uh, interesting night. Just off the tow, we had very little wind. We were motoring and then within 15 minutes, it picked up to 20 and then carried on to 30 knot winds. So we reefed in and just made our way here. With the strong winds coming down the Messina Strait, one benefit is that we can see Mount Etna clearly as we come into Riposto. I can see snow on Mount Etna. It does look like it. When most cruisers we met said Italy was expensive, I didn't realise how breathtakingly expensive it was to stay at Riposta Marina, Marina dell'Etna. It's costing us 130 euros, yes, 130 euros per night. We can't do that. We're going to have to figure out how to anchor. 130 euros. I give one thing to Marina Aeroposto, despite it being expensive, it does provide us with an amazing view of Mount Etna right from Tranquilo. If you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to follow our adventures.